Ladies and gentlemen, Juan John here, Mr. Rick Turner, Toby, we are in the Heartbreaker Lounge playing Rick Turner's beautiful guitars. It's like you get to hang out with all your friends and be like, here, you want to try my toy? I just built this. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what it, you, really, it's what it feels like. I'm honored to be here and play your guitars. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, why don't you tell us a little the bit about story. this one here? Yeah, this <laughs> funny kind of thing, these also started with, um, with Lindsey Buckingham. I, I had been working for Gibson for a while in the uh, late 80s. And I'd been doing some work on customizing the uh, the Chet Atkins nylon string guitars. Ah, mm -hmm. And I came to feel that they were too clunky. When I left Gibson and went back to building on my own, one of the things I wanted to do was develop an electric nylon string guitar that would really deliver the goods but wouldn't feel like a Les Paul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I had... Uh, <laughs> I had, this is kind of a funny thing. I taught a build a mandolin in three days course for the Telluride Bluegrass Academy before mm. the uh, Bluegrass Festival. And I designed these mandolins to be made Spanish style, which meant uh, neck and top first on a workboard, sides, no mold, and then put it all together. And I realized that I could take that construction style and turn it into a guitar. And so I, I did a nylon string guitar, uh, which is close to the same shape as this, neck through the body on that one. And I thought, well, this is an interesting guitar, and, and Lindsay already has a couple of my modified chets. Let's see what he thinks of this. So I took it to him, and um, what I basically got from him was, uh, no, you can't have this back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know where to send the invoice, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and so I made we made a few of them like that. And then I realized that if I did a bolt on neck, I'd mm -hmm. combine the production advantages of of a, a Telecaster with the construction of a three thirty five. And um, and so it's kind of these kind of turned into a uh, a telly meets a three thirty five and a classical guitar in a dark alley, and this is what stumbles out. <laughs> three guitars walking three to a bar. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it just worked out, and it turned into a whole family of these Renaissance guitars. Um, where we, we can do them in nylon string. We do a shorter neck, more classical-like one. This is the RN6H uh, for a hybrid. So it's 14 frets to the body, uh, slightly narrower neck, wider than a steel string, but one and 13 sixteenths at the nut. So a steel string guitar player can transition in, into this mm -hmm. guitar very easily. I was about to say that because I don't play nylon at all. Um, this guitar is incredibly comfortable to play, especially yeah. like with the finger style stuff. Yeah, right. Sometimes yeah. when you jump uh, between guitars where one's got different spacing than the other, it's very difficult. It's, it's tough, yeah. Yeah, it's very obvious like to a, a player, but this is like very natural. Yeah, you, <laughs> this yeah. guitar has proven to be very popular uh, with jazz crossover mm -hmm. players, mm -hmm. um, folks that like to play both nylon and steel, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and so you know it's it, it done very well with it with the jazz. Yeah, it's incredibly player. light too, by the way. Well, like, it's semi hollow. It's light. made like like an acoustic guitar. Yeah, so the sides are bent. This is not what we disparagingly call a nut bowl guitar. It's not just a <laughs> hogged out chunk of wood with a top. <laughs> right. It's actually made like an acoustic guitar. Top and back are braced. Mm -hmm. There is a center block running through the, the body. Again, cedar, magic wood. Western red cedar center block. Yeah. And so this thing can go to insane volume levels without feedback. Nice. Way beyond any 
actual acoustic guitar. Right. I've, I've had people say, how come your obviously not real acoustic guitar sounds more acoustic amplified than my <laughs> yeah. than my guitar with a pickup in it? And I said, because basically what I've done is rather than throw somebody else's pickup into the guitar, the, the pickup system and the guitar were designed in conjunction to work together. Mm-hmm. So the guitar is designed to the pickup the pickup is designed to the guitar. It's beautiful. I design I design piezo pickups as well as magnetic. So nice, I, nice. This is my pickup. Yeah, right you here. can. I mean, so the 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 more I let up on this, like the easier it is to. It's just very very responsive. Like you don't have to play. Like it's just very responsive. You barely have to touch this thing, and it, it just really reacts. That's the idea. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beauty. We can play with it. Oh yeah. Volume, tone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My name is Juan John. This is Mr. Rick Turner. These are his amazing guitars. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and comment on these guitars. This thing is awesome. All of your guitars play very effortless. Like the less effort you put into the better they sound. It's crazy, crazy. No fatigue. Four hours, no problem. Great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. Heartbreaker Lounge, Juan John, Rick Turner, Toby, we're out.